Hi folks, Mark Armitage here in the uh, soon to be deconstructed uh, Los Angeles uh, Electron Microscope Laboratory. Uh, it's very exciting. The scanning electron microscope has now been deconstructed. It's uh, ready to transport. There's uh, also uh, all the spares are, uh, have been boxed up uh, and uh, pumps and such on the floor. And so all the stuff is going to go. It's going to be transported uh, to an area about two hours from Seattle in the Pacific Northwest, a fairly inexpensive place uh, where my costs will be lowered and uh, we'll get more bang for the buck. So uh, you're going to see uh, the microscope being put on a truck here momentarily. And uh, once again, just thank you for your support. Most of all your prayers, I really need your prayers in order to get the lab back up and running when I get up to the Seattle area. And thank you, as always, for your amazing support over the years. God bless you. See you soon. Here we go. <laughs> There it goes. Hi folks, this is Mark Armitage coming to you from uh, uh, starting to be a very empty electron microscope laboratory. Uh, as you can see behind me, the scanning electron microscope is gone. Uh, it was hauled away yesterday by a trucking company and so uh, hopefully it's on its uh, trip to its new location and hopefully it will survive uh, the drive. Uh, transporting an SEM is uh, delicate and uh, so I'm hoping that they package it well and that it survives the trip and that it will start uh, right up uh, when we get to the new location. However, there is uh, yet the transmission electron microscope. <laughs> there it is, right there. And uh, this, of course, is a microscope that is no longer working and is probably too expensive to repair. And uh, so this one is not going to make the trip to the new laboratory. 
And uh, so you can bid farewell because this uh, wonderful machine uh, that's uh, 50 years old from AEI in London, England, uh, is on its last legs. And so we wish it farewell. It did do a, a really nice amount of work uh, for me in this laboratory. Uh, now let me just say some concluding remarks uh, as I travel away from this location and attempt to start the lab up again. This is a very expensive laboratory to run and to date I have funded this laboratory particularly over the last four and a half years uh, out of my own pocket. Uh, virtually no donors to speak of although uh, a few of you, God bless you, donated to the GoFundMe website and I think about $9,500 uh, was collected from that. Uh, but that barely covers the cost of running these instruments for a year and like I say it's been four and a half years that I've been covering this laboratory on my own and uh, that doesn't include spare parts and uh, also all of the light microscopes and all of the related laboratory equipment and supplies that are very expensive so uh, I can no longer carry this laboratory on my own so I'm going to uh, use the resources that the Lord has given me to set up the laboratory uh, again in hopes that uh, other donors will step up and uh, serious donors, serious people who have $100,000 to invest in the only creationist laboratory in the world working on dinosaur soft tissue. Now, uh, let me just say some other concluding remarks uh, that are coming from my heart. Uh, deep inside my heart, and I hope you as a Christian uh, and a supporter, if you are, of creation science will understand. No one else, uh, well, let me start this way. The many creationists have written many books about dinosaurs, and many of them have been delightful. Uh, but the ones who are serious about the science behind dinosaurs have always quoted the work of others, particularly secularists, uh, because I can't think of any creationist Christians, uh, uh, although there are a few doing radiocarbon dating, but that's just a matter of collecting a few bones and sending it off to a lab and paying for the analysis and getting results. That's, that's not really uh, science laboratory basic research. We've been doing carbon-14 for many, many years now, and so uh, no new molds are being broken by uh, sanding samples off for carbon dating. Uh, and so many of these books and pamphlets and videos that are written and produced by creationists always discuss the work of others. Now I want that point to sink in, because in many respects, our evolutionary colleagues are justified in saying that creationists don't do science, and certainly in the area of dinosaur research, that can be said. Except for my laboratory, and except for the work that I've done to find these soft, uh, stretchy tissues in a couple of instances, uh, loaded with bone cells, osteocytes, and then to learn to isolate those osteocytes uh, in hopes of doing protein uh, and DNA analysis on them. And so I've published this in the open scientific literature. Uh, you don't even have to go through a creationist website uh, to find my work, which is published in Microscopy Today by Cambridge University Press and uh, in Acta Histochemica. So what am I saying? If donors don't step up, then this laboratory is going to go away. The only laboratory that is actually doing basic science research, field research and laboratory research on dinosaur remains. And so uh, that may be the Lord's will. It might be that uh, uh, I, I should be the only one, uh, the only one so far in creationist history to show how it's done. And you know, if others want to come behind, uh, I'll be available to train them if they so desire. Uh, but uh, but I've done what I was called to do by the Lord Jesus Christ. I fought the fight. I finished the race. And I showed how it's done. And it can be done. And uh, a creationist with a long creationist history can publish in secular journals on the hottest thing in creation science. 
and something that the whole world, the whole world is excited about dinosaurs. They're not excited about radiocarbon. They're not excited about other radiomatic dating, dating methods. But dinosaurs, boy, the Lord let me hit a home run for this one. And so uh, if there's any more Christians or creationists out there besides the, I don't know, maybe 500 views per video uh, who uh, want to learn anything from everything I've said, I just said it just now. Hey, God bless you guys. And uh, we'll see you on the other side.